Hi, welcome to another edition of Tea Talk, a transsexual's perspective on the world around us. Last show, I talked a little bit about the working poor. You know, someone that works 40 or more hours a week, and after they get paid, they barely pay their bills, and after paying their bills, they hardly have anything left for gas and groceries. Um, you know, I'll give you a perfect example. Okay, it's Friday, you get paid, you pay your rent, you go get your tire changed, you've been riding on a, a spare tire for about a week, and then you go to the dollar store and get a few toiletries like deodorant and toothpaste and soap, you know, things that you would need so not to offend people around you. And after it's all said and done, uh, Friday evening, all you have left is $12. $12 to get to get you to the next paycheck, which is two weeks away. Yeah, I would say that's working for it, right? <laughs> I was having a conversation with my mom the other day, and I was telling her that it's amazing how the inflation seems to be going up, but our paychecks aren't going anywhere. It's just ridiculous. These companies, too, because of the economy, a lot of them just seem like they're taking advantage. You know, they continue to give you responsibilities, but they don't want to give you a raise. And okay, what, a five cents, seven cents raise? I mean, come on. I think they could do a little better than that, don't you? At least 50 cents, that would give you 20 more dollars a week. You could use that for some groceries or to put in your gas tank. That would certainly make a difference. Oh, I tell you, you know, there's so many people in the world that are, belong to that group, the working poor. And there's really something that needs to be done about it. I don't know what, but that leads me to the main topic of this show. And that is the universal health care. The health care program for... Well, I should say the nationwide healthcare program that Obama is trying to pass. And honestly, I really believe that he sincerely means well with that. I mean, I have insurance, and last year I had dental work done. Let me tell you, even with my insurance, I still had to finance $3,000 of it. It was ridiculous. So can you imagine someone that doesn't have health insurance? I mean, come on. And there's so many people that are riled up about this universal, um, or I should say nationwide health care program. But come on, don't, I, wouldn't you say that just about everyone, if they need care, they should be entitled to it? I think everyone would want that. You know, if you're sick and you need help, you'd want to be able to get it. And there's a lot of people that because they don't have insurance, they're not entitled to it. Okay, so this, these people have their arguments. They're saying that, you know, people should have the right to choose their doctor. And I know there's a lot of kinks that have to be worked out with the program, but there's other countries in this world that have this type of program. And just like any system, you know, it has its issues. But I mean, hey, at least everyone has access to health care. I mean, it's just, when you think about it, think about going to an emergency room and being turned away because you don't have an insurance card to present them. Anyway, I feel that something needs to be done. And I believe that if the kinks are worked out, we could really get a program going for people that didn't have health, or don't have health insurance. And for people that already have it, well, then they can continue to have the program, the health programs that they have. But at least for the people that, you know, don't have, they'll, they'd be an option. And all this crap about, oh, every man for themselves, and we live in America, the land of opportunity. Yes, I do agree. This is a wonderful country to live in, and there's many wonderful opportunities. But shit happens. I don't care how hard you work, sometimes in life shit happens and you end up in a dire situation even though you were grinding the pavement and working hard and striving towards your goals, things happen. 
And I know that there's not one person out there that's watching this show that can tell me that they've never, at least once in their life, had a helping hand. Somewhere along the way, someone gave you a break. Come on, we all need each other at some point. So anyway, I just thought this was an important issue to talk about. And I'll tell you, this health care issue, we haven't certainly, we have certainly not heard the end of it. I mean, we really haven't. And I, I hope that somehow Obama and the administration will find a nice middle ground. So all the thousands, hundreds of thousands of Americans that don't have health insurance, will be able to get the care that they truly need. Until next time, love, peace, and blessings, and hugs and kisses.